remembering that because I totally, it just totally went over my head. There's a true, there's a true competitive edge that Mulligan has. Yes. With or without the alcohol. Yes. And then when you have the gritty determination and basically the killer instinct that the Devil Dog has. Yes. This could be a potent tag team that needs to be reckoned with within all of the Midwest. This could be, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not... But we haven't seen Hunter Payne in this match yet either, so... Oh yeah, they don't always offset everything. Well, that definitely changes the whole entire situation in split seconds, doesn't it? Knee smash by Hunter Payne. Wow, he dropped him from eight feet in the air and planted Devil Dog right onto his face. With or without Hunter Payne, Marco Anthony was very effective in slowing down Devil Dog and it only took a couple of moves to put him down. Here we are, the Make-A-Wish Foundation. I think so. Devil Dog might not know what dog found he came from when that was delivered right there. That was a nasty, nasty drop. Both men dropping in opposite directions with one leg, tearing and ripping at the groin on the other one. And Hunter Payne didn't help on that leg drop. He just crushed him right there. Devil Dog's cranberries have been smushed. To say the least. Billy Payne. All they want is another tag team title match. But I think they got more evil intentions, Stan. Oh, look at that, he's trying to kill him. You don't think Elite Payne wants to rub it in the face of Johnny Wild? You don't think Elite Payne is sick and tired of Johnny Wild? I think Telling them when they can fight and who they have to fight? They want to call the shot, Stan. They hate when they're being tossed around. Oh, yeah. And they're going to take it out on the devil dog for that nasty spike slam. He's ready to take it out on somebody here in the crowd. Mulligan clapping it up for his partner, but he is a sitting duck at this moment. He is being pulverized from pillar to post all over the place. All and over again with these smashes. Wow, spinning, twirling neck breaker for a man that size to deliver a shot like that at that speed. You've got to be impressed there. the top turnbuckle pad. Hunter Payne, dominant. Carlos Rivera, outmatched. What a shot by Hunter Payne. Hunter Payne is making sure that he leaves his mark in the ring tonight. Did you hear the fire in his voice before this match got started? You can hear him now, yelling at the crowd, taking it out on his opponent. Watch out. Big kick there by Rivera to the chest of Hunter Payne. Oh, Hunter Payne straddles the Devil Dog along that top rope and support. We gotta give credit to Mulligan and Carlos Rivera for challenging both the Asylum and Elite Payne, but this is a bad spot for Rivera. Dude, he's so big. Watch out! Oh, he slammed off the second rope. Yeah, and he almost hit the ceiling. There wasn't a lot of room to spare, was there, Stan? No, not at all. Just because Mulligan's been on a tear lately doesn't mean that Carlos Rivera can withstand this much punishment. Mulligan had to break up that pinning attempt. I don't think that Mulligan and Rivera have teamed up long enough to handle the pressure of being against a seasoned team like this, Stan. It's just not fair. No, it's not, but it is what it is. And it's wow, dumping Rivera right on his front side on the top rope and then a drop kick right to the head and the neck and the shoulder. Meanwhile, his drunk tag team partner is on the apron. How do you like that? Billy Payne feel that they are the uncrowned tag team champions. They just refuse to give up. They want their titles back. Who can blame them? No one can blame him. You remember when Elite Payne were fired by Johnny Wilde only to be brought back because they had guaranteed contracts. Which 
which I don't like in the first place. That's the garbage that was started with the Turner organization back in the mid-90s. Bottom line, Elite Payne won't be held down. And whether right. they destroy the Angel My mistake. or Carlos Rivera My mistake. or anyone in their path, they're going to get what they want in the end. I stand correct. I have to correct myself. That was started by New York, if you know what I mean, back in the 80s. That's what screwed up all the companies. Power slam. Screwed up wrestling. And it's what screwed up CSW in regards to these guys still being here. Hold on a second, Stan. Your take on the intentions of Anthony and Hunter Payne. Good intentions? Bad intentions? It's always good intentions. So what are they? To destroy. You're the insider. To, the, to destroy. How is that good? How does that make for good? Because you got to get rid of the garbage, the germs in society. The germs You're calling in the world. Devil Dog and Sean Mulligan germs? No, I'm calling Mulligan a germ because he's a drunkard. Rivera needs to get his head screwed on straight. It's the last time that you've been infested with germs, Sam. Never infested with germs. I bathe in antibacterial soap. Is that safe? No! But I still do it anyway because I hate germs. Don't you get skin skin uh, it's dry as perforations or something? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I got a bad put on my thumb. I just open it up and everything is in the dry skin. What's it to you, man? Devil Dog trying to fight back with a boot to the chest of Marco Anthony. There's the dog chain, but it was very weak on that drop, and Marco Anthony pushed off. So again, the Devil Dog is in a lot of trouble as he's laid up along the side of the apron of the ring. Barely able to remain standing at this junction. The Devil Dog is an incredible athlete. The problem with him is he, he's not too far away. He just has to drop about these people. And Mulligan, he's a good athlete too, but he drinks way too much, man. Three Payne sent Devil Dog to the roof, double team clothesline. And Hunter Payne was 290 off. pounds, just stepped all over the abdominal region and the chest and the ribs of Carlos Rivera. That can crush a rib instantly. Anthony with a, a swift jab, a roundhouse look. Tag team title shot are gonna totally evaporate. Yeah, but once he makes the tag. Hey, did you just see that? Stand? I did. Charlie Wells on his feet for this. Mulligan touched the right hand. Big shoulder block by Mulligan. He took the big man down. Another one. Mulligan with a leg, Larry. Mulligan's doing this by himself. He's got no help. His partner is laid up in the corner. Mulligan to the ropes. And Hunter Payne just tripped him on the way down and glided his body with him. Oh my! Monkey toss into the ropes, but Mulligan landed on his feet somehow. Yeah, because he's an incredible athlete. He's like a cat. No denying that. It's just that he leads the St. Patrick's Day Parade every single year, dude. Mulligan just slapped the peach buzz off of Hunter Payne's head. Wow. We got a fight on the floor. Johnny Wild and Anthony fighting over his cane. The referee is distracted by the commissioner's problems on the outside of the ring. Oh dear. Anthony let go of Wild to fall on the floor. Oh, that was funny. Watch out for behind. Corner. Well, now we got a big problem. Wild is down, our commissioner. We have no referee. This is a tag team match with number one contendership status at stake. Uh oh. Well, the two men there are standing now. What's he gonna do? Offer him a drink? Uh oh. Hunter Payne picks up Mulligan. Hunter Payne with the single move before. Can Doug recover? 
Todd Simmons clenching his chest cavity. He's still hurt. Here, give him a drink. He might snap back in action. Uh oh. Might be a saddle slam in the future for Mulligan. Ah, he's a stalagmite. Oh no. He dropped Mulligan right on the back of his head. You can count to 100. That's it. Before we find out, yeah, best tag team is in Chicago style yeah. wrestling.